Hi everybody, today is March 8th, 2013. Nuke safety report release, in part. A sought after report on the root cause of a 13 month outage at the San Onofre nuclear power plant was released in retracted form Friday in response to accusations that the plant operator knew of safety problems with equipment before its installation. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the manufacturer of faulty replacement steam generators that have sidelined the twin reactor plant, delivered the report to nuclear safety regulators months ago, but it had not been made public because of proprietary information. Two lawmakers say the report show that San Onfrey operator Southern California Edison knew about safety issues with the Mitsubishi replacement steam generators before installation and went ahead without making some safety upgrades to avoid a more regulatory review. Edison officials say the company never installed generators it knew to be unsafe. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission Office of Investigations, meanwhile, has been conducting since September an investigation into the completeness and accuracy of information provided by Edison about the generators. Commission spokesman Victor Drix said Friday that the investigation is still underway. Nuclear Commission staff base in Texas and Southern California are evaluating Edison's proposal to restart one of the plant's reactors at partial power for a short period of time to see if it can dampen destructive vibrations among steam generator tubes. Oh yeah, I feel so safe. A tube leak on January 31, 2012 shut down the plant and led to discovery of rapid wear within thickness of tubing within the steam generators. The tubes numbering nearly 10,000 in each of the four generators act as a barrier to radiation and a component of the reactor cooling system. Senator Barbara Boxer of California and Republican Ed Markey Massachusetts went public in early February with their description of the Mitsubishi report. Markey also wrote a letter to the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission out of concern that Edison might have withheld pertinent information investors. The contents of the report could ask, have important implications not only for ongoing safety reviews but also California Public Utility Commission investigation into whether utility customers are due a bill refund or suspension costs associated with the sideline plant. They are looking at whether or not it was prudent for ratepayers to be allocated this cost, said Kendra Altrich, a nuclear campaign at Friends of Earth, which is seeking more rigorous oversight of the Edison, if it's revealed that in fact Edison was aware of significant problems and chose to gamble. That is about as pertinent as you can get. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission requests a publishable version of the report from Mitsubishi as early as mid-February. The redactions by Mitsubishi were reviewed by regulators for several days before its release. All that means is they're keeping other things secret. So it could be so damaging that they're keeping it secret. All these plants need to be shut down. If there was a long-term power outage for the 120 nuclear power plants here in the United States, we would be all in deep poo. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.